Hey, it's Mr. E here. So here's another exterior angle uh, problem, except that this time we're going to get a quadratic. And let's go ahead and work it out. Okay, so it's an exterior angle problem. So in an exterior angle problem, we're going to take the exterior angle and we're going to set it equal to the sum of the non-adjacent angles inside the triangle. So it's going to be 5x plus 2 equals x squared minus 1 plus 4x minus 3. So this is going to result in a quadratic equation and let's go ahead, let's ignore that. Let's go ahead and uh, work it out. So we're going to combine the like terms. So we got like terms here and here. And that's going to get us 5x plus 2 equals x squared plus 4x minus 4. Since it's a quadratic, we're going to try to set it equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 5x from here and here, and subtract 2 from here and here. The reason I'm moving everything to this side is because I want to set it equal to 0, but I also want to keep the x squared positive. So I'm going to get 0 equals x squared minus x minus 6. We're going to go ahead and factor that. That's going to be x minus 3 and x plus 2 equals 0. And that's going to result in x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. Now, could x be negative 2? Well, when I take negative 2, and plug it in here. So that's going to be 4 times negative 2 minus 3. I get negative 8 minus 3, which is negative 11. I get negative 11 for an angle. I know that I can't have that. I can't have a negative angle in a shape. So I'm going to go ahead and reject this answer. So let me just write reject over here. And the answer is going to be 3. So let's check it out. If the answer is 3, that means angle D is going to be 8. If X is 3, that means angle C is going to be 9. 9 degrees, 8 degrees. And if x is 3, that means this angle here, angle ABD, is going to be 17 degrees. Well, let's check it with the exterior angle theorem. Is 9 plus 8 17? Yes, it is. It checks out, so I'm done. Okay, I hope this video helps. Take care.